what is up guys welcome back to my channel i am super happy that you guys clicked on this video and i am super happy to be filming this video for you guys now in today's video i'm gonna be doing a freshman q a video and i can truly say this has been my most highly requested video because every albany video that i make there's always comments i'm always getting dms snapchat messages even emails getting questions from you guys so i knew that it was about time to do this video i think that commitment day is coming up like next month so i feel like this is really the perfect time to submit this video because for some of y'all this could be the video that helps y'all decide if ua is even worth it so also i feel like i need to um address the fact that i'm in a new setting if you guys aren't a usual subscriber then you don't notice and that's a problem that means you guys should subscribe get in tune but this is actually not my room this is my boyfriend's room but it's a vibe so i just had to film in here but yeah just wanted to address that i'm gonna get right into y'all questions though because i'm not trying to waste no time and i got a lot of questions that i'm gonna answer in depth for y'all okay so question number one i feel like this is a super good question somebody asked me how was my relationship with my professors i'm gonna keep this one short and simple for you guys to be perfectly honest i don't really have a relationship with my professors i've been here for two semesters i am class of 2020 it's like honestly um in-person classes for me i have not had an in-person class i haven't had the opportunity to connect with a teacher on that level i've been here two semesters and i only have one teacher that genuinely actually knows my name and has interacted with me via even a zoom call because for the most part i have taken asynchronous classes and if you guys don't know um if you guys do choose to go here depending on you know how covid goes i guess you'll most likely have to choose between like a couple asynchronous classes and synchronous classes i really haven't had any person classes to have a relationship with my professors but that was a really good question okay so this next question is a question that i got a lot somebody asked how do you get into group chats before you get here so boom this is what i did to get into group chats before i got here one um so two people that i went to high school with that i'm actually close to my best friend and a close friend well they were both going to the same college and we were all in the same college now obviously so i made a group chat with the two of them and then we all decided like people that we have like connected with to add into the group chat and over time the group chat got really big that's actually how i met my boyfriend ironically and then two like how did i meet the people that i even was able to connect with to add into the group chat basically go on instagram and look up ua25 especially after commitment day that's when you'll really see stuff popping up for this so when you type in ua25 you open 25 you click profiles you'll most likely see it in people's bios follow them because those are going to be your peers and your classmates when you get here also it's very common that somebody usually starts a page so there was actually a uobany 24 page like thousands of kids followed it and everybody posts their pictures they post um information about themselves so it's an opportunity to get to know people and if you're looking for a roommate it's a real good opportunity to get to know a roommate i would keep checking on that because it's better to follow it earlier so that you know you could see like more people because when i had followed it it wasn't super late but it was like a whole pe bunch of people under and i was not scrolling that deep but if you are already followed then you can just you know keep up to date and just keep scrolling from there so yeah that is my advice for how to get into group chat okay so for this next question somebody asked me does you albany have art courses like um baking and cooking art and painting and stuff like that so in terms of art and painting i definitely know that we have those classes i will not lie to you i am not sure if we have cooking and baking but that's definitely an easy like google search type of thing and also in terms of art maybe you can take it as an elective but if that's like the major that you're going into then yeah for sure you're good but i'm not sure if like it depends on what your major is which makes you eligible to take that class if you know what i mean because you can't just take any class you have to take classes that fulfill your gen ed and fulfill your requirements for that specific major or minor so that's something that you would have to look into depending on what your major and minor is going to be so next question somebody asked how many people does you albany have i would say that you albany is a very large school and i like i already said i came 2020 so a lot of people did not come last semester nor did i feel like even less people came this semester so 
we're expecting a really big increase for next semester but according to what I looked up there's still 13,286 undergraduates that still attend this school so that's still a lot and on the normal like in a normal year it would be around 17,000 something something so yeah Albany is really big and yeah it's a lot of people here okay so for this next question somebody asked do or like are we allowed to have classes virtually so I kind of touched on this already but my experience here I've only had classes virtually next semester I guess it depends on how much better the pandemic gets but from what I've been hearing they're anticipating having a lot more in-person classes next semester I don't know how they're gonna do that in a safer way but as of right now I can tell you that yes there's definitely option for virtual classes a lot of people are at home taking their classes you feel me and honestly I'm on this campus but I could be at home and it wouldn't even make a difference okay so someone said how do you make friends and have a valid college experience so I feel like for this one I'm just gonna be dropping like gems and advice for a few parts but for one for how to make friends, for one thing I would say, join group chats. My biggest tip for you is you need to know people before you get here. Because once you touch down on this campus, you need to have people that you can hit up to link with them and do stuff with them. Because people in this school are very clicky. Once you join a click or once the click is made, it's very hard to get into their clicks and stuff like that. You might be cool with them, you might be cordial, but it's not gonna be an easy situation to just, you know, Swiggle your way into the click. Just make friends for you here. Group chat. Text people outside of the group chat. Swipe up on people's Snapchats and be friendly. Like you really have to kind of finesse your way into friendships. If you're somebody that's not really like extroverted, I'm not extroverted either. But you really do have to like push yourself a little harder. And in terms of how to have a valid college experience, see that question, um the having a valid college experience is kind of subjective to everybody so you kind of you know you want to have a unique experience that's fire to you it's really about what you want to get out of college so i would say to have a valid college experience is one you kind of do need to have a mindset of who you want to be when you touch down on this campus and then you need to like be willing to stick to that obviously change be open-minded but like the principle the core your values don't let that be moved by college because if you know that to have the most best college experience for you you need to have a 4.0 then you cannot be at parties every week you cannot be enjoying thirsty tuesdays thirsty thursdays you can't do that it's really just subjective and it's unique to what you want but for the most part i would say try to push yourself to be more out there extroverted and meet people because that's the the, the main thing that people go to college for is to network, so that's the biggest thing you can do. Okay, somebody asked, what is there to do off of campus? And I genuinely think that this is a really good question. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of activity, but for one thing, Miss Rona, once again, has closed on a lot of things. So, but I'll, I'll just name things that are around that you would have to catch a little bus to get to, or, you know, stuff like that. So we have a skating rink. That's a little bit far. We have um, a bowling alley. We have a movie theater that's closed down right now. We have arcades around here. The Crossgates Mall, if you touch down here and you want to do something off the bat, go to Crossgates Mall. It's a trampoline park in there. There's um, escape rooms in there, all types of activities. Save your bread up so that you can have things to do. There's always a function off campus and on. <laughs> There's always something to do just to be safe. So. Yeah, there's always something to do off campus. Okay, so somebody asked, what is my experience like up here? Um, wow, well, you guys really care about my experience? On a scale of 1 to 10, I would say that my experience at UA is a solid 8. I like it here. There are some parts that, like, still to this day, I'm still getting adjusted to. Like, like I said, like, the clicky nature and stuff like that, that's a little bit still, like, um, because like I said, I'm an introvert. I'm not really an extrovert, so it's hard to maneuver with that sometimes. But overall, I feel like I'm getting a good education. I feel like I've definitely made memories that 
it's gonna last a lifetime especially last semester when it was nice outside it's getting nice again and i i already feel like the memories are, are about to start being made but yeah i made a lot of memories last semester so honestly i would give it an eight overall in terms of school in terms of but also low-key maybe i want to give it 7.5 because in terms of school i feel like i've been teaching myself i haven't had as much support as i would like but that's kind of why i'm low-key looking forward to having at least one in-person class next semester so yeah okay we're getting down to our final questions but somebody asked how much is you open tuition so you open is around I think it was around 24k something last semester but now for some reason it says 27k and the average cost after financial aid is 17k um obviously what you get for financial aid is dependent on your family's financial status so if your family is touching bread like especially if it's over 200,000 I'm sorry to tell you this but you're not even gonna get financial aid most likely but um if your family is poor you're still gonna have to pay a good amount of money for your compared to your family's income but you know it will definitely help if you guys can apply for scholarships of any kind i think that you guys should definitely do that to you know lighten the burden off of your family and plus loans are not they're not fun so yeah somebody asked what are some tips for getting waitlisted or deferred so boom story time your girl you Albany for me when I was in high school especially a senior I never you Albany was always one of the top schools I wanted to go to but I never even like thought in my brain for a second that there was a chance that like I wouldn't get into UA so then when I started applying for colleges I applied for colleges that were way more prestigious than you Albany and I got in I got into HBCUs I got into UBuff I got into better SUNYs I got into every college that I applied to and Albany of all places waitlisted me M when I seen that my world like it stopped like I literally almost had a mental breakdown I couldn't believe it so basically when you get waitlisted they send you something that's like um I forgot what it's called but it's basically an opportunity for you to show that you're still interested so after I clicked the thing to show that I'm still interested, I still want to attend U Albany, I then took a next step. I emailed admissions at U Albany, and here's the thing. If you email them, you need to be able to show why you want to go here. You need to show why you would be an asset, and also you need to show what achievements you've accomplished since you've sent in your last like application. So for me personally, I told them, you know, why I wanted to go here, how like I was a business major and or how I wanted to be a business major and they have some of the best schools. Then I told them why I would be an asset and then I mentioned achievements like honor roll, punctuality award and then I actually told them a personal story about how I was teaching myself marketing via YouTube. I also told them how I was working like effectively. Like I used marketing to grow my own Instagram page and I grew my page 500 followers in a week. And yeah, that worked for me. I'm not saying that would work for everybody, but definitely do that if you happen to get waitlisted or I don't really know how the deferred process goes, but it probably could be around some of the lines. Last but not least, somebody asked, what is you Albany like? I feel like, um, all of these questions kind of answered that question but overall i'm just gonna say that you albany is like whatever you make it like if you want you albany to be boring you albany's gonna be boring if you want you albany to be fun you albany's gonna be fun like it's whatever energy that you put into you albany that's what you're gonna get back respectfully so yeah that is pretty much all of the questions that you guys asked me um if people ask me more on email i don't really go through my email thoroughly so i'm sorry if i missed that but if you guys have more questions, make sure, like I said, to comment them, DM me, or Snapchat me. My Snapchat is latte underscore XOXO, and my Instagram is also latte underscore XOXO. My Instagram, I mean, my email is going to be in the description. Also, if you guys want a boy's perspective of how you Albany is, I'm going to leave my boyfriend's um, information too, because he goes here too, obviously. We're the same major, and he was in the other video that i made about you albany and a lot of you guys really like that video so 
yeah that's pretty much all i have to say thank you guys so much for watching bye